You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. G'day, guys. Uh, 13 twenty fourteen. if you've won Lotto or know somebody, maybe someone in the family won Lotto, how much did they win and did it change their life? We always hear these stories about things going downhill. When somebody does win Lotto and there's been that guy out of the UK who bought this big house, famous story, I think he won around $50 million, bought a huge house with land out the back, turned it into a dirt dirt bike track yeah, and also and also demolition derby um, he unfortunately created a bit of a, um, a dusty habit I think he was on the anti-inflammatories uh. um, and uh, at he, Perth at Crown was yeah, he? he was he's been a, given a two year ban I believe and he um, uh, ended up with zero dollars out of Adelaide Fitz story here uh, Joshua uh, he was a plumber who successfully won 22 million dollars oh that that's is, a good amount imagine that, that moment great. I mean, you could buy seven suburbs in Adelaide with 22 million. <laughs> you could probably buy Adelaide. Uh, anyway, he they say he was an ex-plumber because that's exactly right. The minute he found out he'd won, he wasn't doing any more plumbing, mate. That was it. Um, he quit his job. He was only young. He was 43. And um, when he had no need to get off the couch, unfortunately, he looked for another new high. And he was also found himself on the anti-inflammatories. Um, oh, no. So he, was block- he was blocking his own pipes. Was he? Yes, he was. He was <laughs> at 100 miles an hour. Um, he was then arrested after they found um, quite a few grams of cocaine. And he is in jail. Money gone and in the slammer. What a great day when you won that lotto. What does it waste. say? Does it say how many years it took him to burn through it? Great question, Fitz. He didn't muck around. He successfully burnt the $22 million and found himself in jail after three years. Three oh years? Oh, my God. Well done. This is where not everyone deserves to win Lotto or should be allowed to enter Lotto. Wouldn't like, it be a great, great TV show, right? If you had the money, expensive production, where you gave, you mocked up mm. that, say, five or ten people won $20 million and then you followed their life to see how it changed and where they ended in five years' time. Really expensive TV show. Great watching. <laughs> It'll never get to air. I'll, I'll stick to Grand stick Designs, around, I yeah, think. Go with Grand Designs. Um, this other one here. It's broken a family up because this guy has been described as greedy and his auntie is no longer talking to him. Because what's happened? She lost her job, but at the same time it was his birthday and she's struggling to put a meal on the table, scrounged around a couple of, to- a couple of dollars and bought him a scratchy. They don't say how much, but they describe it as a life-changing amount of money he has won. And he doesn't necessarily need the money. The um, the auntie is now trying to claim that the money should go to her. Oh, don't make oh, a claim. Just is... ask nicely. Don't do that. Do you know what? Come on, it, don't It's do a that. real tough one. I remember a family that we grew up with, the Etheringtons, and they won. Uh, this is funny. They, we had the par- we had a party at their house, mm-hmm. and the whisper had got around that they and it was uh, look back then it was still a lot of money, but it was two hundred thousand dollars. Now I don't think two hundred thousand dollars is enough that you'd go and tell everyone because mm. this is the thing. I don't think it's enough money where you can actually sign off. Fork where you could fork out money to yeah. friends and family because mm. it's not enough. But anyway, they wanted everyone to keep it quiet at this party. The thing is, they brought out a cake that said "Congratulations <laughs> on the lotto." <laughs> So, but then it was full you know, of cash. What, and then as soon as everyone left the party, everyone went and told everyone else. It, it, well, within 24 hours, everyone in the area knew that the Etheringtons had won the lotto. I mean, it's just—it's not enough. No, I mean, you've got a no, pretty normal house, and all of a sudden, there's a Ferrari sitting in the driveway. Oh, I got a got a bonus at work. 13, 24, 10. Love to know if you've won a large amount of money. Is now a great time to point out that the 40 mil Powerball is tonight. It is tonight. It is, is right? tonight. And I just picked up my ticket. Okay. And I'd love to see if it took him three years to get through 22. I reckon I could you want to have a crack at it. 40 in 1.5. Wow. If you won the 40 mil, yeah. MDG, Go on. let your mind run. Oh, What's the first thing? Resignation. <laughs> no, no. Oh, 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 what? You wouldn't read the... No. Y- y- your last news yeah. would have to be breaking news. I've mm. won the motto. See you later. Yeah. God. But, DG, <laughs> this next story, the next story spoken on air about you would be a similar story. Ex-radio host <laughs> and news journo burns $40 million in two oh, years. Whoa. Well, I've just got a bit of inflammation in the back of the neck and it's just... Leah and Narellan, welcome to the show. Uh, what what are your thoughts on this one? Should they be splitting that money? Absolutely. I'm one of five kids with my parents, and we have grown up. Like, if anyone won the lotto, 
it would be like, you know, you'd get that main chair, but it would be everyone would be in on that. Everyone would be taken care of. Yeah, I no, agree, Claire. Like, I always yeah. say the same. My husband and I always say, if we ever won Lotto, how we'd split it to, between all the siblings mm. and parents. Yeah, everyone we've needs got a the bit. Plan. Yeah, but yeah. can I? Can I throw this one out, Tommy? Can we talk about Aaron and Ryan last week with Last Man Standing? Oh, yeah. And this is this is only ten thousand dollars. Everyone, mm. we informed everyone they were playing Last Man Standing for the ten grand, and mm. they knew each other from Club Menai four wow. years ago. Aaron said to us afterwards when he won the ten grand, he said, "I actually went to Ryan and said that the loser should give." Or, no, the winner should give $2,000 to the loser. So we're guaranteed to win. It's not a bad He deal. said, I'd be up for that. Would you be up for it? And Ryan said, oh, I don't know if I can make this decision. Let me ring my girlfriend. Mm. Ryan came back th- uh, uh, two minutes later and said, no. No deal. I'm going for the $10,000. <laughs> and he lost it. Oh. Do you know what? A, See, a mate of mine was on Big Brother, and uh, he's a big, tall, um, skinny, bald guy. Anyway, he was in the pool, and he didn't think the microphones could hear him. And he said to Trevor, who won that year, should we go halves? No, and it wasn't halves, so you got the, you got the story wrong. Trevor, you know. Trevor said, get stuffed. <laughs> Trev went, Trev went on the winner. If you're going to get it right, if you're going to get it right, do it properly. Well, it was close enough. You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast.